How do I apply kickstart? What's going on with my skip laurels? And how do I get rid of mushrooms in my lawn? I've got answers to these questions and more coming up on Garden Sense. Hey everybody, I'm Tim Ward and welcome back to Garden Sense. Folks, you guys had me really, really busy last week with all the emails that you sent in. And that's good because that means you folks are getting outside, working on your lawns, getting in your gardens, and frankly, that's why we're here. So for this week, we actually picked five questions that we want to address here on the video podcast. So buckle up, everybody. Let's jump right in. The first question is from Ed. Tim, how do I use Kickstart? I don't have the item that you screw onto the bottle. Where do I buy one? How much do you apply? How do you know when you applied that amount? So Kickstart is designed to be used at one ounce per one gallon of water. And for us, the easiest way to apply it is by using the Ortho Dial and Spray Hose and Sprayer. Now, when you get the bottle of Kickstart, what you wanna do is unscrew the top and fill up that container with water until you reach that, that line on the little sticker. Now, put the lid back on and shake it up really well. What you've done now is made a concentrate, and that bottle is gonna contain about 32 ounces of Kickstart solution. So, at one ounce per one gallon, essentially, to use up that entire bottle, you would need to utilize 32 gallons of water, which, is going to be difficult and very labor intensive if you're using a, a backpack sprayer or a, a handheld sprayer because you're going to continually need to add water, which again is why we really enjoy this product. Now, what we recommend you do is, is pick up the Ortho Dial and Spray. It's available over at rosensonline.com. You want to fill up the reservoir, just dump the entire bottle of Kickstart uh, concentrate solution into the reservoir, set the dial to one ounce, which means that this is going to allow uh, one ounce of product per gallon of water that flows through this device, and then start putting down, uh, putting it down on your lawn. Now, it's a little bit imprecise in terms of, of how much you need to use uh, for the area that you're watering. So you really have to use your judgment. Kickstart, that entire bottle will cover 5,000 square feet. So if you're covering, you know, 10,000 square feet, it's really easy. You're gonna go through two bottles. But what happens when it's less than 5,000 feet? That's when you're just gonna to have to use your judgment. If it's around 2,500 square feet, then you know you're only gonna be using about half the reservoir before you need to stop. Now, here's the thing. Kickstart is completely organic, so you can't really over apply it in terms of that single application. The worst thing that's gonna happen is you may waste some product and the plants that you're spraying it on simply won't be able to use the, the nutrition uh, that, that you know this is putting down. So I wouldn't worry too much about harming your lawn or any of the plants that you're putting down. Uh, the worst case scenario, again, is you may actually just be wasting some product. So again, Kickstart is put down at one ounce per one gallon of water. We really recommend that you apply using this. And then you just ideally are going to have to understand and know the square footage uh, in terms of, of where you're applying it on your lawn and then gauge that based off of, you know, how many ounces that you're going to have in here, which is going to be about 32 ounces if you dump in the complete amount of Kickstart and then just break it down from there using that 5,000 square foot mark as sort of your benchmark. The next question is from Bob. Greetings, Tim. Planted skip laurels two years past, and this spring they have not looked good. Since it was not a particularly severe winter, wondering what could be causing this trauma? Fungus? Disease? Too much liquid sunshine? Other? So when I first opened up the email, I thought, oh, this looks like maybe some winter burn. But you said in your email that it was not a particularly severe winter for you. Then I noticed the holes and my next thought was, oh, this could be something like a shot hole disease. But as again, as I zoomed in on that picture, I, I really kind of changed my thinking again that, hey, this is a combination of a disease, but also it looks like some insect damage. So this is actually what I would recommend doing right now. The first thing I would do is get out your pruners and prune off any of the really bad leaves so that if, if the more than 50% of the leaf is damaged, I would absolutely prune it off right now. 
Then what I would do is I would put down BioAdvanced 3-in-1. Now this is going to do two things for you. One, it's going to provide insect protection so that if you have a little minor infestation, you have some mites, something like that, that's going to be uh, potentially eating those leaves, the BioAdvanced 3-in-1 is going to take care of it. But it also offers disease protection. And so again, by applying this right now, you're going to get rid of the, the insects if there are any still there, and you're going to start helping that plant recover and fight off the disease that it's been dealing with. The third step you're going to want to take is actually put down Plant Trust right now. Head over to rosensonline.com and pick up a bag of Plant Trust. You're going to be really, really glad you did. It is perfect for skip laurels. The last thing you want to do is also pick up a bottle of Kickstart. I would put down Kickstart once a week for at least the next month after you put down Plant Trust so that, again, those skip laurels can start taking in the nutrition that Plant Trust is offering. It's going to strengthen the roots. And again, a, a, a bush, a tree, a plant with a strong root system is going to fend off the disease much, much better. Okay, so prune off the bad leaves. Pick up BioAdvance 3-in-1, pick up some Plant Trust, pick up some Kickstart, and start getting those things down now as quickly as possible. And I would hope that with the new growth that's going to start coming in, if it's not already, you're going to really see a, a change in those skip laurels. And hopefully by the end of spring, you're going to have one healthy looking bush. The third question is from Gary. Tim, will grub control kill the cicada hatching we are soon to have? So I have not seen specifically on any of the grub control bags where they list cicadas. However, cicadas have a grub form. Uh, they're called nymphs. And frankly, the fact that they come up through the soil, my guess would be yes, they are absolutely going to be impacted if you put down some type of grub control. So really what it's going to come down to is what do you want to do? If you want to let nature run its course and you kind of want to experience uh, all these cicadas emerging and you know taking over your yard, which I realize doesn't happen very often, then you do not want to put down grub control. However, if you're trying to keep your yard uh, free from the cicadas and, and obviously uh, keep them from eating the, the grass roots, which is really their, their primary source of nutrition when they're in that nymph stage, then you're going to want to put down some grub control pretty soon, which should Again, eliminate most, if not all, of the cicadas in your particular yard. But again, with as many that are going to be coming in, in certain parts of the, the country, uh, your yard may end up getting a little bit infested with them anyway. But again, at least they won't be coming up through the soil. They're not going to be eating the, the, the grass roots, and you're not going to see those brown patches in your lawn that are associated with grubs. The fourth question is from Elisa. Good morning, Tim. I live in Maryland and notice a cluster of mushrooms in my lawn in two areas. Do you know what causes this? And is this harmful to my beautiful lawn? So you need a couple of conditions to be occurring in your lawn for mushrooms to appear. And typically those are going to be excess moisture. There's not going to be a lot of sun and your soil is very nutrient rich. Now that last part's actually a very good thing. And so that means that you've got some really healthy soil, which is why the mushrooms are able to thrive. Now you said you have two spots where they're starting to sprout up. Look, I, I really wouldn't worry too much about it. Mushrooms come and go relatively quickly. Their life cycle is only a couple of weeks typically. And if you're mowing your grass, you're actually gonna knock some of them down. Now here's, here's the bad news it does mean that there is the presence of fungal spores in your soil. Again, it doesn't mean that, that they're necessarily bad for your lawn, but they are present. And again, a lot of people choose to just mow them down and not worry about it anymore. Well, when you do that, you are actually spreading those fungal spores to other parts of your grass and potentially more mushrooms could sprout up. So, Really, there's, there's two options without some major chemical treatment or major, major lawn overhauling, which I, I don't recommend. So the first thing you could do is just go get a little trowel or something and, and dig them out. Remove the spores from the source, your soil, uh, chuck them in the woods, throw them in the garbage. But again, just get them out of your lawn. The, the second thing you could do is make sure that you're using a, a high nitrogen fertilizer, something again like a turf trust. Get that down. And even though that doesn't actually kill the mushroom, 
what it does is it actually causes that mushroom to speed up its life cycle. And so it will grow and die quicker because of the high nitrogen uh, than if you were to just leave it and not touch it at all. So again, if, if, if they bother you, they just dig them up. Put down some, some turf trust, and again, th that will kind of speed up that, that process. But again, the good news is you have really good soil. That's the reason that the mushrooms popped up there. There's a lot of organic matter there. So all in all, this is not anything to worry about. Mushrooms are always going to be present in some form within most lawns at some time or another. But if you've been experiencing a lot of rain, if it's a, a little bit warmer, not much sun, Obviously, you've got that uh, really healthy soil. That's a good recipe for mushrooms, and that's the only reason that they're popping up. You're not doing anything wrong. But again, dig them out, put down some turf truss, and forget about them. The last question for today is from Marsha. Tim, about to spread dimension and wanted to know if I only need to put it down on my sunny lawn. My backyard is partial shade, only getting the afternoon sun. So you want to put down dimension anywhere that crabgrass or other grassy weeds could be present. So it really doesn't matter if it's a sunny lawn or a partial shade lawn or completely in the shade. If there is crabgrass and other grassy weeds that grow in that area, you want to put dimension down in those areas. So put it down right now. And then again, I, if you're not overseeding, I would also look to put down a second application in the early fall and you do that over the course of, of an entire year, maybe, maybe say 18 months, you should really be eliminating a lot, if not all of that crabgrass, as well as those grassy weeds. All right, folks, just a couple final thoughts. I've already mentioned it today, but make sure that you are picking up some bottles of Kickstart and that you are working those into your regular maintenance for your lawn, for your plants, for your trees, for your shrubs, even your indoor plants. It's a really popular product. We sell a ton of it here and that's because it works. So head over to rosensonline.com and pick up some Kickstart. If you've got a big yard or a lot of plants, you may even want to pick it up. We, used to, we do sell it by the case, which is 12 bottles, which should last uh, a, a number of you a long time. Some of you may actually burn that through that in, in only a month or two, depending on how you're using it. So again, head over to rosensonline.com and pick up your kickstart. Folks, I also talked a little bit about grub control. Grubs aren't gonna to be too much of an issue right now for most of, of you who are watching this video, but for some of you in, in those warmer states, grubs in, in you know mid-April can start to become a factor. And so you wanna make sure that you're putting down some grub control now. We recommend BioAdvanced 24-hour grub killer. Again, it's available over at rosensonline.com. So pick up a bag of that and you wanna put it down right now. Also, folks, we are still in that window where you should be applying Turf Trust lawn fertilizers if you haven't already done so. You can still get gallery down to help keep, uh, keep back some of those weeds, uh, those broadleaf weeds, excuse me, especially if you're in some of those northern states where it's not quite as warm. And obviously, dimension needs to get down really soon as well to start fighting off those grassy weeds and especially that crabgrass. Folks, Thank you so much for watching this video podcast today. We really appreciate it. Remember, if you've got questions, send them directly to me at tim at rosensonline.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with a very intelligent and very accurate answer for your particular problem. Folks, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. God bless.